Be angry and sin not. Here's another uh, devotional message by Dr. David Jeremiah. Beginning scripture coming from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down in your wrath. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, um, there's there's another some other scriptures uh, that says, um, Do not give Satan a foothold in your anger. And uh, the other Bible reading comes from Psalm chapter 4. The safety of the faithful to the chief musician with stringed instruments. A Psalm of David. Uh, hear me when I call, O God, my righteousness. Uh, uh, you have, have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you love uh, worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. The Lord will hear uh, when I call to him. <laughs> uh, be angry and do not sin. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. Offer sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift, a, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than in the season that their gain and wine, that their grain and wine increased. I will both, both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Uh, so how was Jesus feeling emotionally when he cleared the merchants and money changers uh, from the temple in Jerusalem? I don't say uh, most people know about that story. Uh, we could say that anger was the motivating emotion, but not sinful anger. Anger in itself is not sinful. It is one of many human emotions that can lead to good or evil outcomes. Anger at injustice can lead to reforms that result in justice or to destructive behaviors that fuel further negative outcomes. The psalmist David warned against being angry in a sinful way. He advised have meditation and stillness to sort through the emotion. As talked about in Psalm chapter 4 verse 4. And the Apostle Paul quoted David's words with ad advice on relationships. Be angry, but don't sin by, by dwelling indefinitely on your anger. Resolve your anger uh, by the end of the day. When you feel angry, ask yourself, is my anger self-centered or will it motivate me to help others? Keeping anger on a short leaf on a short leash will help you decide and in conclusion when anger is present look for the pain yeah I just want a, a quick thought on that like um, like I said there's a huge storm uh, like a hurricane or a tornado look at the outcome is afterwards so you know anger <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be in the same way and, and so let me go uh, Repeat it again. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. And uh, the other scripture, I don't have uh, 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 whatever book it's, it's from. I, don't, I can't remember where it's from, but I just know in, in quoting the scripture. Uh, do not give Satan a foothold in your anger. And of course, in uh, in the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter four, verse four, be angry and do not sin. Oh yes, of course, and it's, it's repeated in uh, in uh, Ephesians chapter four too. So yes, <clears throat> if anyone struggles with anger, like I have, I pray that God will give you deliverance. 
and helped in a change and transformation from anger. So okay, it's okay to be angry, but uh, do not, uh, don't don't give Satan or your flesh with spirit a foothold in your anger. Amen.